Yo what's up guys this is Atrix here today in this video I'll be talking about PS Vita emulation on Android if you don't know there is only one single PS Vita emulator available for PC till now which is also a recent project which only started few years ago it's known as Vita 3k emulator now I want to give you guys a great news Vita 3k emulator will start to go under development very soon for Android devices which means that Vita 3k emulator will be coming for Android devices now how do I know this well if you actually just go ahead and open the discord server of uh, vita 3k emulator then you can see that the developer of vita 3k emulator made this comment saying that as soon as he's done with vulkan renderer uh, he'll start porting the vita 3k for android devices now as we all know that emulators take a long time for development for example skyline emulator which is a nintendo switch emulator for android even though nintendo switch is based on arm it still took like two to three years just to get sonic mania running on skyline so surely ps vita emulation won't be coming within this year or next year so it will take time i don't think it will happen so soon because first of all there is just one single developer said that so if he's working by himself trying to port vita 3k emulator for android then it will take an eternity uh, because PS Vita's architecture is completely different than uh, Android and there is only one PS Vita emulator till now for PC so PS Vita emulation is surely complicated and hence making an Android device emulate that console will be even more complicated just so you guys understood and if in future it actually happens then you know that you actually need a very high end flagship Android device to emulate PS Vita even though like the console is very old still you'll need an high end device be only because emulator won't be that optimized in general for android devices and there will be requirement of a big team to work on vita 3k android port and uh, optimize it for android devices and other stuff and also if you guys know then xbox 360 xenia emulator is also under development there is actually a team assembled who are working currently on xenia android and here is a screenshot of that so xbox 360 emulation on android will be coming soon by next year we might have like an alpha small build of few mbs uh, just to test out the ui etc of the emulator and within like 2024 i guess we might get Xenia emulator for Android devices. And as we all know, other controversial companies like Daemon are also working on Daemon PS3 emulator and Daemon Switch emulator. And I have heard that Daemon Switch emulator is coming in August, uh, which is this month, current uh, ongoing month. It will be uh, released for Android devices on Play Store by August end, I guess. So let's see if Daemon Switch emulator uh, will be released. Uh, let's also see if PS Vita emulation on Android is success or a failure in my opinion just for conclusion the developer said that after he finishes working on Vulkan renderer which might take quite a while in itself then he'll start working on Vita 3k port for android devices so it will take quite a lot but it's interesting to see that ps vita emulation for android is actually on minds of uh, emulator developers which makes me happy so yeah that's all the news that i have right now Let's hope for the best and let's not trouble these developers. Give them some time, give them some space too. Don't go to the Discord server and spam them uh, asking like will it be releasing soon etc. Don't do that. Give them space, give them time and eventually if they feel like uh, Vita emulation is possible or any uh, console emulation is possible then they'll surely start working on it. No need to ask. So yeah, anyways, that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you guys want to stay up to date with all the latest emulation news for Android. Anyways, see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.